Michael Andershack is, is a terrifying fight. I mean, he's probably my least... I know I won the fight very convincingly in the first round, but stylistically, he's a very, very tough fight for me because uh, you, what, what you need to beat me, you need to be a first round killer, like lethal in the first round. And that's what he was, knocking everybody out in like 30 seconds and stuff. It's, as the fight goes on, that's when I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll like grind you down. So uh, he was terrifying, you know, get a great fight, you know. He's, uh, he's like taller than me, like dead handsome, like ripped to bits like this, like that. He's, he's a dead nice, that he could have, uh, he could have done himself some favours by being a dick, really, you know, at the weigh-ins and pushing us and stuff and getting in my face. Yeah. But he was dead nice as well, actually. <laughs> the fight with Bedorf definitely kind of solidified me as champ. People might have thought I got lucky with Andrew Shack, you know, but uh, I had a very, very dominant win against Carroll. Uh, I dominated from start to finish, and I managed to submit him, and he was meant to be a submission guy, you know. But uh, it was a great fight, but that, that, that was when people thought, yeah, this, this guy's going to be a problem. Uh, the, the fight with Keita, he punched me a lot more. His boxing, I very, very, very much underrated that man's boxing. He was hitting me a lot, and I couldn't see why he was hitting me. I couldn't figure it out. But uh, I managed to get him down. Also, I mean, I was going to win anyway, but I, pu I only punched him twice, and both the punches... Uh, inflated both his eyes so he couldn't see so like uh, there was some luck involved I was gonna win anyway but I was very lucky but uh, an another good fight and an another great fight you know and my fights with Narc and they really helped solidify me as, as kind of uh, one of the top guys in KSW so he just uh, come off the win from Kalinov you know everyone thought he was kind of unstoppable I came into the fight an underdog even though I was the bigger guy you know and uh, like I said he, he's quite <laughs> He likes a bit of beef, you know, so it felt, it felt good to get those wins and I, I fought well and I, I stuffed them twice, basically.